Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Here's Chopper 13 flying over downtown Las Vegas tonight. Just one of the many places where you can welcome 2020. We do have crews out there, Joe Bartels and our meteorologist Danny Beckstrom at Fremont Street right now. And we are going to check in with them later on in the shows with what's going on downtown. But let's talk about New Year's Eve as it's always a time to look forward to what's ahead. But this year, it's an especially big year for the Valley. 13 Action News anchor Todd Quinones checks out the number of major events happening in 2020. Todd, really an exciting 2020 in the Valley. Yeah, you know, Nina, one of the great things about living here in the Valley is that every year we see so many new and exciting projects coming online. But really, if you look at the year 2020, this year up ahead is going to be really special. I don't know if perhaps in any year in our recent history that we're going to see so many projects come online. <laughs> It is time to celebrate some big things that are ahead in 2020. You got to go back really more than a decade to find a year where so many game changing projects were all packed into a single year. The 2019 draft in Nashville reportedly generated more than $132 million. And consider this the three day event drew a crowd of more than 600,000 people. And now the NFL draft is coming to Las Vegas in late April. We're coming upon a watershed moment. Tom Burns is the chairman of the Board of Trustees for the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce. I think from being making us a global iconic city, I think the stadium is the one the one quiver in our that we didn't have before. And there is no bigger project than the new home of the soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. Allegiant Stadium's two billion dollar price tag certainly did not come without its critics. But it's unmatched in terms of what it promises to deliver, not only in terms of an NFL team, but also for big time college football with a Pac-12 championship next year. It is helping fuel dream scenarios for the LVCVA. We're going to have multiple sporting events going on in one given weekend, from boxing to UFC to hockey to uh, football, all kind of happening together at once. What a great opportunity. Also happening in 2020, Circa. It is the first ground up gaming resort being built in downtown Las Vegas since 1980. It's expected to be finished in December. And then there's the completion of the 600,000 square foot expansion of the Las Vegas Convention Center. In the hotly contested race among cities to try to book conventions, this completion is expected to keep the valley at the top of the pack. With everything that's going to be happening in the next 12 months, 2020 is going to be a year that defines the next decade and beyond. And for Valley residents, those anticipated room tax dollars means jobs and a stable economy. As that reinvestment goes back into the entire state for better roads and infrastructure and going to our schools and reducing property taxes for everyone. Todd Quinones, 13 Action News.